I came to work August 28th at approximately 11 p.m. and we already had uh, tropical force winds. Um, we were riding around the city, you know, making sure that everything was still, you know, nobody was breaking into anything, trying to prevent looting even before the storm as well as after. We knew it was going to be one of the worst storms that's ever hit this area. jumped in the back of the truck and went to the library. We weren't there more than 30 minutes and the water had already come in. We knew it was getting bad. We're sitting in the library, the water's coming up. I mean, it came in quick. We were stuck and we were stuck bad. The windows at the library are rated for category category three storm. So they're, they're very thick glass with some kind of laminate in between it and another slot of very thick glass. So the water was actually holding out. It looked like you were looking into an aquarium, just this dark, brown, nasty water. There's nothing like knowing, you know, that this is probably going to be it right here. You know, I mean, they were just praying to God that they would live through it. If these walls came crumbling down It felt so hard to make us lose our faith From what's left you'd figure it out And still make lemonade taste like a sunny day Stay beautiful coast with lots and lots of big oak trees, lots of moss, beautiful homes, just a peaceful good life down here. And then Katrina happened. Can hear the wind, still hear that wind blowing. It didn't seem as bad as it was. We watched out the windows, we stayed here. And it just didn't, we just didn't realize what was going on. A lady told me, would you send me a picture of the condo I get in? She comes down from New York every year. I couldn't even find her. I said, all there is is uh, slabs, concrete slabs. I can't tell one from the other. It was about 12 days before we had any utilities. Those 12 days, I guess, were probably the hardest days of our lives. It just was unreal. Ooh, Lord, I trouble so hard. Ooh, Lord, I trouble so hard. Don't nobody know my trouble but God. Don't nobody know my trouble but God. Ooh, Lord, I trouble so hard. Ooh, but I really don't believe it'll ever be the same in people's mind and in their heart, you know. It's just like nothing left like it used to be. It's nothing the same. Life in general, just people's attitudes alone. You know, they're down and out, depressed, you know, struggling. Oh man, it's totally depression for me. I mean, that's hard for me to wake up in the morning. Um, people were shooting their sisters in the head over a bag of ice at the ice distribution places. It was, um, it was rough. People walking, stealing, robbing. I mean, if they would could see someone else driving past them, they would take their car.
trouble so hard. Don't nobody know my trouble but God. Don't nobody know my trouble but God. Ever, ever get yeah. back because most of the people that live along the beach, a man lives next door to me that his house was gone. He was in Camille, his house was gone in Camille, and he said he will never ever build back. Don't nobody know my trouble was gone. And the people started coming in, the volunteers started coming in, bringing the ice and the water and. Ice water never tasted so good. Thank goodness for the people uh, from out of state, you know, all around the volunteers. They've been real helpful. Just appreciate all y'all being down here, and anything y'all do to help us, we appreciate it. People have been wonderful to come in from out of state and give untiringly of their time, and we just thank God so much for them. All of you. Step one, you say we need to talk He walks, you say sit down, it's just a talk He smiles politely back at you You stare politely right on through Some sort of window to your right Seventy two years old, lost everything, start all over again. But thank the Lord, I feel good. Shaking cold, these hands are meant to hold. Thank you, man. When all you gotta keep is strong. Move along, move along, like I know you do. And even when your hope is gone, move along, move along, just to make it through. Move along. Move along. It won't be the same ever but you know it could be better even in some ways but we've lost things that we can never rebuild it's just going to take a long time but you know a lot of people have stayed and a lot of people want it back and love it down here like i do and we'll get it back in time and i'm just now starting to pick things back up again so. it will never be the way it was it never will be it, uh, it'll take 20 years to rebuild the coast to where uh, you can actually use it and enjoy it. Uh, yeah, the only thing left is the wonderful weather. Depending on this year and what comes up, I'd say probably another five years before people get back, you know, to where they feel comfortable to enjoy life again. At least probably another three years to five years, I'm guessing, before, you know, you can, you'll even see the majority of this taken care of. Things are getting done a little by little, which is encouraging enough to stick around and, and uh, wait till it's done. This place was a beautiful place. I'm hoping it goes back the way it was. We just work together and, and help each other. This is home. This is home. This is where we live. Just to make it through. When all you gotta keep is strong.